All right, welcome in everyone. Let's see here. Welcome in Tex in Newfoundland, in the Newfoundland man. <laughs> I'm gonna say it that way. Uh oh, uh oh, who's, who's subbing and things? Oh dear. Trogdor, <laughs> thank you. Thank you for the 25 months. That's almost a whole year. And thank you for redeeming the painting today. I'm doing kind of a marshy, marshy scene. As you see, I have a, a plain canvas here, but we're gonna be doing a gesso underpainting. And K Broman, wee! <laughs> Welcome in, Mad Dog, and Trinket, and Ruler, and Dancing Share. And... I think we got everybody. All right, cool deal. So, yep, just plain old 16 by 20 canvas. So we're gonna we're gonna do some some background painting first. As you can see um, down here in my palette cam, I do not have a palette. I have paper plates <laughs> and black and white gesso. So I put um, I put some gesso onto the plate. And then, because it's acrylic, it dries kind of fast. So that's why I put the other plate on top. So let's see if that kind of prevented. Yeah, and it's pretty thick. So I'll just put that plate to the side there. So, and I'm gonna do like what Bob did in the, um, well, the, the, the one in the middle behind me that he did, that's what's called. Oh, Cypress Creek? Cy yeah, Cypress Creek. And he just used like really old brushes. So that's, that's what I'm gonna do for, for the background paintings here. <laughs> I think Hibbing was very unique. It had started the day before, so we put off the big dinner until the weekend, yeah. Basted chicken, started working on the bathroom remodel. Ooh, and a half hour after eating, my sister brought us her Thanksgiving October. <laughs> so you had a lot of food. Vega, welcome on in. <laughs> Made a full Thanksgiving dinner. Yesterday, so it was stuff fuller than the turkey was. <laughs> oh dear. All right, so I'm gonna start kind of with some like gray gesso. So you see, I got the black and white here. So I'm gonna, this is yeah, an old, old crappy script liner. So I'm just gonna get some white, get a little bit of black in there and do some gray. And I'm just gonna do some really, really distant palm trees back here. So start yeah, kind of up and like I said, these are going to be kind of like kind of faint. So these are just like suggestions here. And I'll go in with, uh, what is it called? Fanbird. <laughs> Whatever this thing's called. And then we'll put little palm fronds in here. Make a little, little fuzzier. A little fuzzier, a little thicker. A little area for it to sit on there. Scrub that in here. Okay, let's do. I don't know, maybe I'll stick, maybe I'll stick with this brush. I don't know, maybe, maybe I will stick with this brush. Maybe I'll stick with that one. Not traditional holiday, but just had just another day. <laughs> Coonsie, welcome on in. Stride Warrior, welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. These are uh, these are just like really, really old brushes. You can you can see this one's like super, super frayed. Actually, if I can put that real close here, focus on that. Maybe. No, it wants to focus on my face. Focus. Oh, I know. I know. There it goes. 
See, now you can, now you can see how, yeah, it's super, super old and, and frayed there, so. Just, yeah, just using, just using old brushes for the background gesso paint in here. And why do I have the Ninja Turtles theme stuck in my head? Oh my gosh. <laughs> of all the things. I, I always get weird stuff stuck in my head. Yeah, I'm gonna do kind of like a, kind of a combo. It seemed better to ease, yeah. <laughs> exactly, exactly. This may have been like a part of my first brush set, which I, um, well, the paint thinner I used, uh, I just got paint thinner from like a hardware store. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> oh goodness. Marley, thank you so much for like 13 months of zero dragons. Oh, well, you know, you know it's coming, it's coming. That's what, next, next Monday already? Next Monday we have dragon coming, so hey. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Start to get a little darker here. Welcome in, Bri. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. <laughs> Hope you're doing well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the, the only thinners I use now are um, either the Bob Ross one or, or the Mona Lisa one. <laughs> Grom, welcome on in. I'm loving all the new Karnov emo emotes. I almost rhymed Karnoff with emotes and said car emobs. <laughs> oh, I didn't see that. I didn't see the feels one. Like every time I look, there's another one. <laughs> oh, I didn't see that one either. The crabby one. I didn't see that one. So are we gonna are we gonna do a Karnoff high? <laughs> Carnotes, yeah, exactly. Carnotes. <laughs> We're doing good. I hope you're doing well. Lauren Zaxio, welcome on in. <laughs> this one will be kind of. I'm crossing over there. Let's do one more, one more. Because, you know, got to have our threes here. Do, 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 a little darker. Let's do, well, maybe one more. Maybe here, maybe there. Mm. Another one right here. Yeah, maybe this one will be kind of like off the side. Big tree might be covering up later. We'll see. We'll see. Just 
swooping over the fan brush there. And again, this is just a gesso, just black and white gesso that I'm using. <laughs> Have you, have you got all the animated ones? You do, one, two, three, four, five. That's the, that's the hard part is like, yeah, we have like the new animated ones coming, like five more animated ones, and I'm like, I don't know. The only thing I can think of that I want is like a chef's kiss. <laughs> See, yeah, <laughs> and I didn't make a thing in the Discord for reminders. That's what I have to do. So just send me, yeah, send me a message after stream because I, I keep forgetting what new commands I need to make. I'm so bad about that. DoorDash or, wait, DoorDash or my pizza delivery is your first. <laughs> wait, you're having DoorDash and pizza? <laughs> Sound effects are essential. Exactly, exactly. We, yeah, yeah, I have to do Car, Car November, a Car November um, painting next time. Because I, I did a, a Rygar painting for Rygar Tober, but now <laughs> we gotta do something for Car November. Four piece BD mode. There you go. So your reminders. Yeah, you send me a reminder to create a channel so people can send your reminders. Either that or just send me a reminder of the, the, the commands that I need to make. <laughs> Hasn't eaten since 8 p.m. last night. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. yeah let's just do another one right here. Crossing over. There we go. There we go. Okay, we've got our little little palm trees there. So let's go and I'm gonna make some some cypressy trees as well. Okay, let's do slightly darker. It's getting darker, darker here. Oh, this. Yep. This brush. Is ruined. <laughs> it's okay. It was already ruined. It's just more ruined. So let's do. Uh, let's do a nice. Make them a little thicker here. I'm gonna have most of this black, but I'm gonna continue with this for a little bit. Mm -hmm. Oh no, what? No, that looks like a cow face. It's a cow. See, that's the, that's the ear and that's the nose. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Start with the big tree. What? There we go. Oh, let's get my friend. <laughs> gnarly that one is. There we go. Then we'll get super, super, super dark down here. Actually, let's kind of work on that a little bit. 
<laughs> Does have paper towel just kind of wad it up here before that gets too dry. And I'll won't make this like totally solid and we'll, we'll leave it a little mottled here. Because the swamp water, you know, it's kind of kind of murky. <laughs> Not yet, yeah. I was going back and forth between, um, cause like this one's ki kind of a mix between um, the, the Cypress uh, Creek back there and also like a little bit of like sunlight, sunlight in the shadows? I forget what it's called, but it, yeah, it's, it's one where like most of it is gesso underpainting and he shows you the gesso underpainting. And then he does like the, the thing they do on cooking shows where you know, they're like, oh, I'm just going to pop this in the oven for like 10 minutes. And then they like, they just bring one out like, oh, this one's been sitting there for 10 minutes. So he brings out one that's dry. So it's kind of a mix between those two. And that one he started with a black canvas and, you know, just painted over it with the um, white and gray gesso. So I was like back and forth. But then, but then I really liked how like the distant palm trees looked in that one. So that's why I went with, with this. Uh oh. Oh dear, you're looking at beach cabin. <laughs> we have beach cabin, swamp cabin. Yeah. <laughs> Julie Cat, thank you so much for the hundred bits. I missed a bunch of chat here. <laughs> Oh dear. Oh, so Lauren's Axio, this is, this is kind of like a, a combo. It's like that is a basis, but we're going off on our own little tangent here. Oh dear, Gordy boy. <laughs> Thank you for the 12 months. That's an entire year. <laughs> One whole year. Uh oh, another hype train. Oh dear. Oh dear. Watch out. Watch out. <laughs> I was trying to catch up here on, on the Marlux epic story. Hold on. Why do I remember swamp water being some kind of drink when I was growing up? That sounds kind of, yeah, that sounds like a thing. Whether it was too bad to drive home after work today, that's, yeah, that, that's smart. Good, good for you. Good for you, Marlick. Yeah. Instead of endangering yourself or others, that's, yeah. Eight to 12 inches, oh gosh. Yeah, that's no good. That's no good. Future Russia, what's up? <laughs> yeah, we got a, we got a swamp scene going on here, so this is gonna be this is gonna be fun. <laughs> Try not to get any of this paint on my clothes because acrylic's a lot harder to get out than the oil paint. So try to be careful there. But we're keeping our swamp wider nice and nice and murky here. Choo choo choo. Okay. I'll just mix that up here. A little more over here. Yeah, a little more over here too. Okay. 
there. We're gonna get, yeah, we're gonna be all messy. <laughs> Did anyone catch that one? The gesso doesn't take long to dry, only like, it depends on the thickness, like 10 to, 10 to 20 minutes. I forgot to give me, I forgot to paint a color, no! I knew I forgot something. <laughs> Oh, more things happening. Da -da -da. Add a little darker on that one. And yeah, let's go a little further on that one. Give him some knees, Cypress knees. I'm gobbling things for the 111 pins. Goodness gracious. And Jennifer Hollywood, what? <laughs> Thank you for the 23 months. It's almost a whole year. Oh my goodness. Mm -mm -mm. Hope you all are doing well. Hope everyone had a Thanksgiving that was celebrating Thanksgiving. <laughs> we know a lot of people from, from different countries here. So, so if you're not, uh, you're, you're visiting from not America. We had American Thanksgiving on Thursday. So. <laughs> okay. Let's make you a bit thicker. Maybe another skinny one in the back. I'll just make a faint one. I just barely see that one. Script liner out. Some real faint trees back there. The nice thing is like, since I'm doing this all in different sections, like, you know, this part's drying while I'm doing this and so forth and so on. So there is that. Some of these kind of cross in here. Like vines and such. Someone cut that one. Dang. Oh, GG ruler, wow. Two, three, four. Dang. Draw with welcome on in. Mm -mm -mm. If you don't, <laughs> hold on. Hold on, I gotta go back again. <laughs> I'm missing. 
missing too many things. You don't celebrate American Thanksgiving. What's wrong with you? Well, it's because you change yourself into a coma. That's true. That's true. Like, yeah, it's, see, like we all we all celebrate holidays differently, but I think one thing in common is when we all celebrate holidays, we all eat a lot of food. <laughs> Florida by you. Oh, good. We could because <laughs> that's what we're going for. We're going for Florida. Yay. Good old Florida. Spoiler alert, DoorDash wins. <laughs> Richard Tink does not buy cyber money. <laughs> but Candy did it. Oh. Ooh, I'm, I'm, I was thinking kind of like early in the morning. So I was going to have like a kind of like the sun, like kind of peeking through, kind of shining through. Although, like, when I was looking at, um, like, some reference pictures, there were some really cool, like, nighttime scenes. And I was like, Arr. maybe next time, maybe next time. Because <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not opposed to doing more of these, you know. You know. Yeah, Bob did, like, hmm. About like four kind of swampy scenes. But of course, he's from Florida, so you know. He did a couple. Sunrise vibes, yeah. <laughs> and the pizza, <laughs> nice. <laughs> Too bad it was like, you didn't have time, like eat one and then like when you were done with the, the one, then the pizza came, like. <laughs> standing eel, it used to be on German money before the Euro, it's standing up out of the bushes in the center of the painting. Okay. <laughs> sure. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I won't go too much further with these. So we gotta save, gotta save some stuff for our oil paint. <laughs> some some arms some places where my Spanish moss can rest I think that's pretty good there so let's 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 well, let's I'll go ahead and clean out this script liner here and since this is gesso I can just clean it out with water not a big deal Let's go back to this one here. Let's throw a little bit of Spanish moss here. The way you make Spanish moss is pretty much the same as doing the palm fronds. Just use the fan brush and just kind of drag, just kind of drag it down there. Brushes are good for textury stuff. Let's do another one on the side. Also waterfalls, the exact same, exact same technique. Just kind of shoo, just drag it over. Mm 
Okay. <laughs> oh, no. oh, see, there you go. Acrylic paint is a square. Yeah, we used a lot. <laughs> a lot of acrylic paint on that one. Godzilla is on the palette, punching the black oil thing from Sting's skin of evil. What? what? <laughs> it does look like something punching something. <laughs> I'll give you that. <laughs> Then after this, we're gonna put on liquid clear. And then we'll put some yellow ochre, make it all nice and golden and goldeny. So I'm thinking like kind of golds and greens for this. Pretty good for the background painting there. Okay. I think, I think, I think, I think, I think. So, um, let's go ahead and just wash that out. I need water there. Excuse me. Okay, that will do. I'm gonna go ahead and put this this water away so I don't uh, knock it over. <laughs> <coughs> it's it is a squirrel. It's not a chia squirrel. So I it's just just like a regular terracotta squirrel that I found that I thought maybe maybe I could paint. And then uh, I got the terracotta, or I got the, um, the chia bob. So I got <laughs> terracotta squirrel, and we got, your, got, got chia bob there. <laughs> kind of reminds me of like the Lionel Richie bust from the Hello video. <laughs> so I got bob, and then we have the squirrel. And I was like, yeah, maybe we can paint him. Maybe we can paint a squirrel, like paint a bob on a squirrel or something. I don't know. That's, that's me in a nutshell. I buy things and like, oh, what? I, want, I can do something with this later on. And then <laughs> like, I'll figure out something, maybe years from now, but. Did you drink water? Yeah. <laughs> There, there is a like a coffee mug that they sell, and it, it says on the coffee mug like, "Not paint water" or something like that. All right, I think that's I think that'll be good for our little gesso background painting there. So, um, looks like a couple of these areas are just a little, little wet here. So I'll just kind of rub that in, so that'll dry. But let's see. Yep, everything else is dry, so we can we can work on this area here. So that's good. Oh, poop tops, nice. I might have missed the blade here, but why does gesso destroy your brush? Oh, so like these these brushes are um, natural hair brushes, so that's why you use them with oils. Um, if you if you clean them with water, that apparently destroys them. I uh, I made that mistake. I cleaned one of my brushes or my Bob Ross brushes with water because I was working with like the wet water soluble oils, and I, it, it hasn't destroyed it yet. Which one was it? Oh, it was this one. Yeah, I can tell. So like, 
So I cleaned this one in water. You can see it's kind of like fraying and stuff. Well, kind of. Hold on. You can see I'm here. Yeah, you can see it's like fraying a little bit. But yeah, the natural, the natural bristles, bristles don't like water. They they want the paint thinner and oil. <laughs> How does the taste compare? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Disclaimer. <laughs> I think so, just because of the hair, yeah. How do you stop yourself from falling off of a bird of prey? Uh oh. Oh dear. You have a Chia Bob destroyed? <laughs> it's like I have him and I haven't I haven't like done the actual Chia thing yet, because like I don't know, I had a Chia I had Chia pet way back in like late 80s, early 90s, and it didn't work very well. It was like, it grew in very like patchy. So I, I don't know, I kind of, I kind of want to keep them like that. <laughs> or maybe we'll paint them, I don't know. I don't know. You just have to cling on to it. Oh dear. <laughs> they don't look like they would do on TV. Exactly, exactly. And, and we just had like, it was just like the regular Chia pet, the one that looks like a, I don't know, like a sheep or something. Is broke? Oh, maybe. Maybe. Let's put these down here. And then let me get my... Oh, 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 oh. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, it, oh my gosh. Uh-oh, it's borked. It's borked. <laughs> oh, see, Tyranitar heard you talking about Godzilla and was like... Oh dear. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I'll put these things over here. Oh jeez. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna scroll up and see if I missed any chat here. Oh dear. Oh no. <laughs> now I can't guarantee those balls won't be uh, dysfunctional. <laughs> Hey, G Rock. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and to scroll, scroll back through all the uh, Pokeballs there. <laughs> and Bitwise Welcome. Oh, dear. Well, might as well. Actually, well, let's see. Let's do inventory. We have 13. And now, <laughs> we have a lot. We work to ignore yourself. What? Express the excess messages. Oh, I don't, I don't know. Ow. <laughs> Get my liquid clear ready. Just gonna shake that up. Oh, it was on there pretty good. Yeah, I'll take the liquid wife. Uh, liquid wife. <laughs> liquid wife. <laughs> liquid white. This must be what it's like to live in San Francisco visiting the store. <laughs> Let's use, let's use this two inch brush here. All right, <clears throat> excuse me. So, I'm just gonna dip into liquid clear here. Just gonna make sure that's not going anywhere. Dot that all around.
Hey, Sigma, how's it going? <laughs> I do I do have a orderless paint thinner. I'm not going to use it right now, but <laughs> I usually don't use it till the, the very, very end. They don't give you anything for free. <laughs> Thanks, yeah. This is, this, we're just, I'm just making, making it up as I go. So like the Bob reference is kind of the one in the middle, but we're we're making it a little more dense. Oh, thanks for the follow. And different colors too. I'm gonna go with more kind of like a golden, golden and green. Oh, I didn't get as much as I thought. That's okay. <laughs> Drop that in real good. I want to put the cake in the bottom of my heart. <laughs> Thanks for the follow. Mm -hmm. Is there such a thing as a, mm, not really. <laughs> yeah, like, and, and it depends on the person too. Like some people will swear by um, certain, certain companies, certain, paint thinner and be like, oh, I don't smell it at all or whatever. But even even if you don't smell it, like it'll it's still affecting you. So so whenever I use it, like I have um, like I have I have my bucket of paint thinner. It's covered. It's covered at all times unless I'm actually cleaning brushes. And then same with the, um, the beat the devil out of it bucket back there, too. Brush sounds amazing. <laughs> Nanaki, welcome on in. What happens if we put the liquid clear on before the gesso is dry enough? Just smear like, like one would expect. I yeah, I, I did that once actually at certification because we um well we just had the the Bob Ross canvases and we had to we had to paint them black if we were doing a black canvas painting. And mine wasn't quite dry yet, so. But I was able to, um, so it was just like a couple spots or whatever, but it wasn't, it wasn't too bad. I was still able to clean pretty much most of it off of the brush, so. So yeah, <laughs> personally it wasn't too much. Mm -mm 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 -mm. It's like, it's like. <laughs> manager in a clothing store and everyone of her stores gets hit, I don't know. Yeah. That's tough, it's tough. I was gonna do a little touch test there. Okay, that look, or <laughs> looks, or <laughs> feels pretty good. So I'm just gonna wipe off my brush there. <laughs> Henry Spy, if I didn't say hi, welcome. <laughs> now I'm forgetting, I'm forgetting. Who did I say hi to? <laughs> Bigo, welcome on in. I know I thought about that when I wrote it. I was like, ooh, we could do a Bayou, Bayou, Bayou Billy painting. Oh, and then also, I have to show you the emote I added. There he is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there you go. See? Look, ruler. It worked. <laughs> Is it cold enough for eggnog and rum yet? Uh, yes. <laughs> even, even here in Florida, oh, it is 52. It is 52 right now in Florida. Central Florida. Ah, uh, like all day I kept like just walking outside just to like, <sighs> it's just, oh, it's been so nice. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> oh, Long Johnson. Trade. Trading weather? No. No, no, I'm good. 52 is good. <laughs> Lauren Zaxio, thank you for beating, the, the, redeeming me. Yeah, thank you for being the devil. <laughs> let's grab, let's grab a one inch brush here. And then I will go over to, oh, I'm gonna put some paint thinner in there first. There we go. Clean that. 
And then I will go over to, uh oh, y'all are ready. <laughs> Let's go over to Devil Cam there. For fun, for fun. <laughs> One hundred and eighty-nine times. Goodness, goodness. All right, I'm going to take that same old brush there. No sound of the devil cam. Oh no. Oh, our um, our computer did. Um... <laughs> well, we lost power a couple days ago. Well, actually, yeah, since the last stream, because the last stream was on Monday. So yeah, we, we did lose power. So might be a couple of things that are wonk-a-doodle. <laughs> yeah, we may have missed a couple. Exactly. <laughs> we'll, we'll put Paul's voice in the raincoat or we can put Cubone in the raincoat. I don't know if we can find, well, we might be able to find a raincoat small enough for Cubone. Just, just a little, <laughs> tiny little raincoat. Actually, we can move Cubone back here. Come on back, Cubone. You see him over there? Ah, he's too short. All right. Ooh, there he is. There. All right. <laughs> there you can see him now. Okay. There's Cubone. <laughs> this is just a trash can. <laughs> so yeah, the um, the devil box. It's it's just a trash can, and then um, the beater rack. That's that's sold on the Bob Ross website. And then I don't know what the pole is that Pole's voice put in there, but he put a pole in there for me to beat against instead of being it against the leg of the easel. Oh, it was part of a keyboard stand. That's right. Cubone and Rayco would be adorable. See? See, that would work. Just cut a hold of plastic grocery bag. Aw. Stop doing that. All right. Oh, there. I was like, where'd I put my two inch brush? Escape it. Pulls always put in the pole. He did. He did. <laughs> All right, so let's throw some color in here. All right, so the colors I have, I have yellow ochre. I have a little uh, midnight black. So this is this is the yellow ochre and the midnight black. So I'm planning to do like the yellow ochre and then like kind of darken darken the edges and the corners with the um, yellow ochre and black. Some Van Dyke brown there for the trees. And then this is yellow ochre and Prussian blue. So that makes that makes an interesting swampy green there. And then I have uh, some Prussian blue and Van Dyke brown. I don't know if I might, might use that for some uh, Spanish moss. We'll see, we'll see. And then that's just Van Dyke brown and black and some white there just for some highlight colors and then get some white there. So I mean our nice swampy color scheme. So then we're gonna just drag some of this yellow ochre. Just gonna use a tiny bit here. Okay. This is the pull spin, it's <laughs> not anymore. <laughs> Exactly, yeah, I plan on doing like, maybe like, maybe a sun back here, maybe, hmm. well, somewhere, somewhere around here, maybe. And we'll throw some like little streaks, some streaks in there. That's a great question. How many Zelda games have Pulse Voice in them? Ooh. Okay, let's, let's go through them. <laughs> okay, Zelda 1. We know Zelda 1 does. Um, does... All of them? Not all of them, some of them. I, I'm pretty sure Link's Awakening does. Ooh, probably, probably. 
Does a link to the past have Paul's voice? No, okay. Yeah, only a handful. No, nope, no. Yeah, none of the 3D ones. They didn't want to make a 3D Poles voice. That would be terrifying. Uh, one surprising one that has Poles voice is uh, Zelda's Adventure, which is one of the CDI games. So, so that's the closest thing you'll get to a 3D Poles voice, and it looks terrifying. So, yeah. But wouldn't that be fun? Of course, I want to see him back. But yeah, like in the handheld ones, they just look adorable. Like, okay. <laughs> there we go. So we're just gonna cover, cover all of this with the yellow ochre. And then I'll go back in with white and then we'll make a little light area in there. Scrubby scrub. Let's grab a little more. Lee Majors Maximum. <laughs> CDI games are terrifying. <laughs> See? Captain Arbor knows. It's 3D Pulse voice, yeah. Yeah, the close, closest thing is the one in Zelda's Adventure. Because I was, I was watching someone speedrun it on, um, I think it was Games Done Quick. They were speedrunning Zelda's Adventure, and I'm looking, and this was like early in the morning. It was like, you know, five, six in the morning because, you know, <laughs> that's when they're going to put Zelda's Adventure on, right? <laughs> and, and I'm watching, and I'm looking, and I'm like, and I said in chat, I was like, is that a Paul's voice? And then the runner was like, yeah, yeah, that's a Paul's voice. <laughs> See, you could see there was, there was like, yeah, it was so early in the morning, like not many people were watching. And so he, the runner could actually respond. He's like, yep, that's a Poles voice. I'm like, oh my gosh. And then Desi, if you know um, Nintendo Desi, he was playing it a couple of months ago. I think it was right before I went to Vegas. And then, uh, and then yeah, he's <laughs> just like, yep, that's a Poles voice. <laughs> a Poveray, oh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it, it, it sometimes works for Wally. I don't know. So, sometimes Wally can get him with the candy. Ray tracing software. Describe what you want. It renders it to 3D. I don't think they do. <laughs> this pulse voice does. But <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Let's go around that area and just make it a little darker. <laughs> that one and the Cubone one. Every time you type, type, type in Cubone, it's the little pat the Cubone on the head. Probably a horsey emote somewhere. Ask Chad and GPT to make a 3D pulse voice. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Sweet. 
they have this 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 thing. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I just saw like a missing no, and I was like, whoa. <laughs> it was fighting. But um, I, I saw something, I think it was advertised to me on Amazon, where it's like a 3D printer pen where you can like like draw with like plastic that hardens right away. It's kind of kind of interesting. Why do we use so many Pokemon? <laughs> I don't know. That's a great question. <laughs> I'm unable to generate images based on copyrighted characters or entities. Uh, including those from Legend of Zelda, the video game series, as it goes against our content policy. However, if you have another idea or concept you like visualized, feel free to let me know. I'd be happy to create something else for you. <laughs> so then... <laughs> You go around that, and then, and then you type in, let's see, uh, the 3D rabbit head ghost. Ghost rabbit head. Let's go dark. So let's grab a little bit of, a little bit of black. Okay, so this will be right on the corners, the darkest here. <laughs> Create 3D image of a rabbit head ghost enemy you might encounter in an adventure game about a kid with a sword trying to save an, a princess from an evil desert king. <laughs> Legally distinct Pulse voice. Hey, GG Captain Arbor. For Fortress the Bagworm Pokemon. say it has something to do with all those all those pokeballs that we uh, got earlier but I don't know. Uh oh Natu, Natu. <laughs> Cheeseburger cats come get your come get your Pokemon. It's a little darker over here. Green here, swamp green. I'm posting the Discord. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Oh no! 
Oh. Somebody ordered something. <laughs> wow! Okay, that's pretty cool. Here's our, uh... Here's our generated bull's voice here. That's pretty cool. It definitely looks like a rabbit head ghost. It's kind of like a th ethereal. And the sword here, of course. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> I broke the bottom of the shiny. No! Ah! Way out. It was, it was, it was good while it lasted. Spooky bunny. It was Marlick. <laughs> Blame Marlick. There it is. <laughs> he's busy, he's busy enjoying his pizza. He's like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> All right, let's uh, 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 let's get into this swampy, swampy green here. Let's grab some of that green. Oh, I'm going to use all this right now. That's okay. I can mix up more. It's only two colors. It's not so hard to mix. Mm, excuse me. Do, 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 do. I'll mix that in. It's kind of like a Miami. I forget what college that is. College of Miami colors. <laughs> Like golden green. Is it University of Miami? That one. Kind of like, kind of like that color it's making. Let's let's extend it. Let's keep going. Modeled, modeledness down there, so that's good. That is good. Okay, so let's clean that off. Let's get another Pokemon going. I got green in this one, we'll switch over to... Switch over to a one inch brush. <laughs> okay. Let's grab a little... Titanium white. Let's tap a little of that on the brush here. So let's do. Oh, let's see. Where's our little? I guess it can be kind of right in the middle. Why not? I'm just gonna kind of work that out. Cross in here. So we get this bright 
sunny spot coming through. Let's wipe that off. See a little hair in there. I'm gonna poke that out. <laughs> Cross that out a little. And then let's take a little white, maybe. Some streaky things here. To the other side here. A couple streakies up here. Streaky up here. He got a little sunburst. <laughs> Is it? Oh, let me see if I can. Is it Ilier? Yeah, Illy. I'm just gonna call you Illy. Illy. Welcome in Illy. <laughs> or is it Illy or High? Illy or High? Illy or High? Illy or High? Sorry if I get it wrong. Isn't that cool? I love that, I love that effect. Yeah. It kind of breaks up the, the solidness of the trees there. Do a little bit, a little bit of water down there too. Ill eerie. Okay. I'm going to write that in my notes so I don't forget. <laughs> Ill eerie. Ill eerie. Okay. <laughs> Jamie does tax evasion. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Good lens. Yeah, there you go. Lensler. There you go. I'll try, I try to remember, like there was, a, there was a show back in the 90s called Erie, Indiana. I'll try to think. That's, <laughs> that's, that's my new kick now. When I, when I meet people like in real life, because I'm one of those people, it's, it's really hard to remember names. And, um, but like if I can associate like a song with their name or something, like, <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> Turns on recasting, there you go. <laughs> I hope you're doing well, Jamie. See, remember Erie and Dan? That was a good show. That was a good show. And then wasn't that the same the same kid that was in Hocus Pocus, I think? The boy, the older boy. I believe. I could be wrong. Let's go on. Ooh, you know what? Some of the scenes I saw were kind of misty, so let's let's throw some mist in there. 
Let's tap a little bit more of the white. Some misty bits going. <laughs> misty bits. Tapping with the corner of the brush there. Oh, heck, you can get some too, why not? I got some misty bits there. Maybe a little more back here. We can't see what's going on over there. Neato. That ultra ball isn't very ultra, I know, right? <laughs> this is Jamie, yeah, so like, the, the two, like, Bob Rosses that I was kind of looking at for inspiration um, is, well, the, the one in the middle back there, and that's not the Bob, of course, that's my version, <laughs> but, but um, like, Cypress Creek. So that that was a little inspiration for, like, uh, for the gesso underpainting with, like, the palm trees. He just did a couple palm trees, though, and then I did a couple, um, like, the cypress trees with the... A Spanish moss and stuff. So I was looking at that and then also just like a bunch of um, a bunch of pictures I found on the internet of just like cool swampy scenes. So I'm just <laughs> like looking at a bunch of different bunch of different things. So I'm, I'm pretty much I'm just making this up as I go. <laughs> Bob's going by yeah exactly so like I, I just kind of made up that name because I'm like ah, I don't know. The name usually changes with the painting. <laughs> I'm gonna put a little bit of land back there. So, oh, let's see, let's see. I'll grab. Maybe a little fan brush here and some of that, some of that green. So the, the yellow ochre and Prussian blue green that I made back here. So let's, let's do a little, tap a little land back here. Always put the part of the trees back in if we want. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, maybe, I don't know. I kind of like it, I still like it kind of foggy back there, so I'll just, let's put more land over here, little protrusions here. Maybe a little yellow ochre and white. Let's tap that into the fan brush. That's right, exactly. Bob liked his trees. See, there you go. Yep, start with Ocean Sunrise and made into a Star Wars painting. Exactly. There's, um, there, there's a website I talk about all the time. It's called twoinchbrush.com. And it's, it's really cool because it has pictures of all the, um, all the Bob episodes. 
and then uh, people can upload their own versions. And they, they you upload like totally originals too. But it's cool to see like everybody's different versions. Like sometimes people will change like the type of uh, the, the season or the time of day or um, stuff like that. And then there's this one person named Laura and every single painting she does, she puts a Sasquatch in. <laughs> so it's like, so you know, when she posts a painting, it's like, oh, well, where is it? Where's the Sasquatch? <laughs> and then there's, a, there's another person and they put all sorts of uh, like pop culture references. So there's, there's one with like a big old cliff and um, he put Castle Grayskull on top of the cliff. <laughs> And that was cool. And then um, one of the uh, seascape paintings, he put he put Ariel like when she's like on the on the rock and the, the water's like sh like crashing around her. Dragon, uh oh, dragon, <laughs> you know, you know. <laughs> Why do you think I included a skirt? <laughs> it's unnecessary tree. Well, of course, of course. <laughs> next next Monday though, next Monday. Speaking of what, Jennifer Hollywood, are you start? If you're still here, I have a question. I have a question. The one, yes, yes, the one with Mr. Burns in it. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> See, you saw that one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and that, that was one of the um, one of the Bob ones where it was, yeah, it was like mostly um, like Jesso underpainting. I forget the name of it, but but yeah, like Mr. Burns is is floating between the trees, you know, where he's like. I bring you love, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Target has a WWE ring, an old school steel cage, and I almost bought it, almost. Well, almost is not buying. <laughs> yeah, that's not standing out quite enough. I'm gonna put a little bit of, a little bit of liquid white in there. Then it'll stand out more. There we go. Old marshy areas here. They didn't quite stick out. Let's do a little more. A little more highlight on that. Okay, that's better there. Let's wipe that out. Mm -mm. Why is he running in the terminal? That's not one of the tests. <laughs> I know, I just thought he could stand loose and wait to do the <laughs> <laughs> Bring the slow brace legs, exactly. <laughs> okay, let's do. I kind of want to, since he's he's kind of in front, I'm gonna add a little, add a little, little highlight to that one. So let's grab. Let's grab a little white, a little Van Dyke brown. Let's see. Let's do a little, a little highlight on this. Oh, there we go. There we go. <laughs> I was listening to a guy in the waiting room of the hospital. He was talking to an attractive older woman who was also waiting. He told her all about how his legs are so incredibly strong <laughs> that he should play football for the NFL because nobody is going to stop him once he starts running a ball. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. I feel bad for the lady, she couldn't get away, probably. <laughs> I have to talk to this dingus. <laughs> I'm 
it's kind of gliding some of that highlight color on there. A little more. Mixing this up here. This is just this Van Dyke brown and black and white. Just cutting that off onto my knife. I'm just kind of touching for some highlights there. Dragging down a little bit there. A little lighter on the bottom. <laughs> A little darker. Kind of a grayish. Color there. And get our little cypress knees going. And then these will we'll just have these go straight into the water there. Raising that on. Simple but effective. <laughs> Keish, what's up? <laughs> Welcome on in. I have no idea how the lady stood it. He was talking to her nonstop for close to an hour. Oh gosh. <laughs> the most awkward thing is when you're talking to somebody and you're like, oh yeah, you're just like being nice to them. And then and then they ask for your phone number. And then they call it. They call the number right in front of you, and you're just like, <laughs> <It's> like <"Ugh." laughs> that's 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 gross. That's gross. He finally stood up and walked by where I was. Looks like he was about thirty-seven months pregnant. <laughs> that's what he was like. He was like, "Well, my legs look really good." <laughs> <laughs> Was he at least wearing shorts so you could see his legs? <laughs> this looks almost exactly like something near Leo. I'll have to look that up. <laughs> darker area over here and grab some Van Dyke Brown. Go back up and darken a couple little areas here. That's better. Okay, a little more, a little more dimension there. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just 
Yeah. They were twigs. <laughs> Fully oblivious. Oh, okay, all right. That's part of my part of my homework. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, that looks pretty neat. Happy accident. Let's do, oh yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. Okay, let's do a little more in the back. Stronger back Let's create some different different planes. Why would you call the cell phone number of the lady you're talking to while you're talking isn't talking with her? So the reason they do that, ruler, is because they want to make sure that you didn't give them a fake number. Yeah. Yeah. Super Firewall thinks someone is trying to hack the network. Oh no. Sorry about that. Sometimes the ah color correct, color correct. There it goes. <laughs> Sometimes it does that. I don't know why. I don't know why. <laughs> this can <laughs> have candy for the Pokemon. If she did give you a fake number, why would they want to have that be the thing in front of her rather than just endure the humiliation alone? Yeah, because it's like, exactly, exactly, but yeah. Because they, they want to like, yeah, shove it in your face like, oh, well, you gave me a, oh, you gave me a fake number. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. It's gross, it's gross. <laughs> All of the light. 
Redeem Lady G can only just use foam brushes. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Your pulse going up. <laughs> Ooh. That could work. That could work. Because that other uh, Bob painting that I was talking about, the I forget what it's called, Sunlight in the Shadows or something like that. It's yeah, like half the half the time he's showing you the um, gesso underpainting, and then the rest of the painting he's just basically it's just a glaze. You know, he puts the liquid clear on, and then blue, and then a, I think a little white in the middle. But like the, all the gesso underpainting is, I th I want to say most of it is with the foam brush because he even does um, like little bushes with the foam brush, so they almost look kind of like if you look at them, they kind of look like almost squarish. So, but yeah, he just uses one of these, one of these deals and just like squish, squish, squish. Get them just, yeah. <laughs> see, well, Z Ruler, you have the right idea. So you don't, you don't have that mindset. So, so good for you. If the, if, if the, if the number starts five, 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 <laughs> he would look stupider than her. Yeah, yeah. It's a thing. It's a thing. <laughs> there we go. Nice and marshy. Looking like a marsh. How about that? How about that? Let's do. Let's do. Let's do. I'm gonna do a little highlighting on those trees because those, those are a little closer to us. So yeah, you can get some highlights. <laughs> DJ Darth Vader. <laughs> Welcome on in. <laughs> Exactly. Call yeah. <laughs> What's your phone number? Oh, it's 867-5309. Oh, wait. <laughs> See, that would that'd be a good one. I tried that one with the synthetic brush and got some super nice effects with it. See, there you go. There you go. But yeah, both of them just assume I can be humiliated. That's the number you got from Stacey's phone. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Yeah, yeah. Question about liquid white. <laughs> I'm kind of steady my hand here. I have a very shaky hand, so doing highlights in the trees is like, ooh. It should be very runny. Here's my big, uh, <laughs> here's my big tin here. So yeah, the so the liquid white, the liquid white you want real. Real runny. So the um, the only things I use for liquid white, um, I use. Let me see. I'll show you. I'll show you both the ones I use here. There it is. Yeah. So these are. These are the two that I use. I um, so I use the like the Bob Ross liquid white, and then also the the Grumbacher. It's called Grumbacher uh, liquid first coat white, and they, they have a clear as well. So the, those are those are usually the the ones I'll use. 
but yeah, this is really, really like a good equivalent. <laughs> Forget you have to do the fancy pinky pinky finger thing when doing highlights. Exactly, exactly, because you want to hold it very, very loosely. I used to work with someone named Stacey Odo. Oh, no. It was about the time that song came out. <laughs> I'd always ask her, ask about her mom. I saw that she didn't appreciate it much. Yeah. The runny paint will stick to a less runny paint. <laughs> this is true. Exactly, exactly, but. <laughs> If you have any friends with a kid named Stacy, there's a chance that Stacy's mom was your best friend's girlfriend. <laughs> well, what about what about Jessie's girl? Where does where does she fall into the mix? <laughs> but like I've I've heard that you can uh, mix. Titanium white with uh, like linseed oil, and you can make your own liquid white that way. I've never tried it, so it's, that's one of the things I gotta try. But I go, th I have to go through so much titanium white, especially, especially teaching. <laughs> go through a lot of titanium white, so I should just take like, cause see, like this one's getting towards the end. So what I should do is I just should take like one of those tins and just like squeeze out the rest and just mix it with. Let's see the oil. See what happens. Could also be your girlfriend's girlfriend. Type of negative. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Definitely recommending getting the two hundred milliliter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was showing. Oh, where's Bulls, Are you busy? Can you, can you grab that, uh, not the master set, the, the basic set? I wanted to show off the size difference again. Yeah. The 200 milliliter and the, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Rick, Rick Springfield, we, we saw him in person and he was, um, you know, he was trying to be like a rock star and he like, he smashed his guitar and stuff. But yeah. That I don't know. I have, um... What do I have? I have safflower oil, I have the linseed oil. So that, that's, yeah, that's linseed oil. So that's, you can see that's real, real runny. So like I've tried using um, just that. Like when I first started out, before I had liquid clear, before I had liquid white, I tried just putting this on a painting, just, just that. And like the paintings from back then, like they're like cracking and stuff. So that's, that was not, that was not great. Safflower oil, about the same. So I think that's why it, it helps to mix it with a paint color. Ooh. Oh. Here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even though, you know, like this one's almost out, but you can see the size difference. Mm, excuse me. So it's the 200 milliliter and this is what, 37 or something? Yeah, 37, so this is 37, this is 200, so yeah. <laughs> Especially the white, yeah, you go through a lot of white. Especially like um, doing practice like on the mountains and everything, because mountains were really tough for me in the beginning. So I, like, I, would, I would scrape them off and redo them all the time and everything to get them, get them how I want them. <laughs> I have walnut oil too. I can't remember, because I know I tried it, but I, I don't remember which painting it was, because again, it was like pff, four years ago, but I have walnut oil. <laughs> it is funny, it's like, oh, you can cook with these as well. Uh-oh, we're, we're eating stuff again. <laughs> Highlighting of this. So I'm just kind of touching, touching the sides here of these trees. Let's see who got that. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, the, the angle and then like the pressure. The pressure is huge too because, you know, I, I see a lot of people, you know, like putting their finger on the blade and like, like, like smushing the paint. Like, no, 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 no. It's like you're just, you're gliding it on, gliding it on. Boiled linseed oil is no longer boiled and instead chemically treated so that it dries faster. Ew. Okay. Yeah. Oh my gosh, Ruler, you got two today. Were they both shinies or? Oh no, no, wait, no, because, well the one, yeah, the one earlier it said, you know, that you had 234 and now it says you have 235. Favorite flavor of lizard crimson. <laughs> Grapeseed oil. See, we should, we should make we should make a YouTube video and then we can compare all the different oils. <laughs> it's the shiny time station. See that? Um, I got that in my head. Apparently, I didn't have this one. It was shiny. See, there you go. Used to hate mountains, but now love painting them. See, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like once you get the hang of it, 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 once you get the hang of it, and it just like clicks, and you're like, ah. Like when when I when I teach people, and then you know, right at the end is like highlighting the bushes, and it's like when they get when they get it, when they get the feel for highlighting the bushes, they're just like, <laughs> and then they just. <laughs> Put bushes everywhere because they're like, I can do this, yes. It's so good. more. If you paint really fast, you should use oil with a high smoke point. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> some of that highlight color on little foots from my trees. Faster. I guess adding chemicals is faster than boiling. It was linseed oil. Labeled as boiled nowadays. Isn't that's ugh, that's weird. Painting has always been dangerous. <laughs> kind of like tongue oil finish it has no actually tongue oil in it. Just produces a finish that someone thinks looks like that produced by using tongue oil. So are there any cypress groves near you? Oh yeah, there's yeah, everywhere. Everywhere. <laughs> they're they're everywhere. Because <laughs> we have um we have lakes around here and everything and yeah. It's all nice and swampy. 
and even like um, we were about like yeah, 30, 30 minutes away from the beach, and like there's a like area around that beach where it's it's all swampy, and there's like a little um, like a like a walkway, like a little path that was made uh, from. It's like, like a wooden path, but it's kind of like, it's up a little bit because of the, the changing levels and everything. Because, you know, we have dry seasons and wet seasons here. Mm -mm -mm. Let's do, I'm gonna highlight this marshy area a little bit. Ooh, let's see, let's do. Mm. Let's, 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 let's grab a little of that liquid white I put down. Get to that green and Prussian blue mix here. There we go. Put a little bit of reflect these trees in the marsh water. Mm -mm -mm. Also to polymer, polymerize, <laughs> polymerize, polymerize. <laughs> Molecules cross. I just like saying that. Much much faster. Just boil the oil, boil the oil, not in water. What Bob says true about selling people selling Cypress knees. I've never seen that. Yeah, because I was watching this episode and <laughs> I've never seen that. Yeah, because he talks about that and then um, collecting the Spanish moss and yeah, like using that for um, stuffing mattresses or something, <laughs> stuffing furniture. I yeah, I'd like I'd like one. I'd like one of those the um, Cypress knees lamps. That sounds cool. Is there a bridge over that path? It's basically, yeah. <laughs> swamp monster, oh. Just made me think of those swamp creatures from Hexen. Now I'm going to have to play it again. <laughs> bridge covering dirt, yeah, exactly. When it's like the dry season, then it's just like the high platform that you're walking on. Hurricanes a couple of years ago made it made a mess of that wooden path, but I don't know if they fixed it since then. I probably have, but I don't think I've don't think we've gone back. Oh, let's use yeah, let's use a little fan brush. Let's grab a little Van Dyke Boreal, just a little bit. Don't need too, too much here. Just put a little, little of that color in. Let's see something, I don't know if that's a here. Oh, just a little scrape, okay. That's fine. And then over here as well. Put 
put a little of the put a little of the highlight in there. brush well I can do doesn't really matter one inch brush two inch brush the two inch already has uh, a green on it so I'll just I'll go back to that one and yeah just a green Van Dyke brown on there just grab grab and pull flip to the other side And then let's go across, make it nice and watery. There we go. We'll do that to the other, the other one here too. Mm -hmm. I think, I'm trying to think, I think I want to make another, another little tree over here. Or maybe just a big old cypress knee. So let's grab, yeah, is the Van Dyke Brown. That'll be good. And we'll just kinda. Big old tree. A lurking back there. But that's okay. We gotta have some more limbs to put our uh, our Spanish moss on. Let's put a couple of knees around there. Let's grab a script liner. Script liner. It's a paint thinner in there. We'll make some limbs. Some nice, nice big scraggly limbs here. <laughs> oh, actually, that one's in the front. That's okay. <laughs> Alligators. Maybe one more up here. I 
maybe another one on the other side, or maybe just maybe just some knees on the other side. Let's see, let's see. Wipe this down here. And then let's highlight this guy. Colors there. Mm -hmm. So I'm just dragging that down. Pretty much the same thing as a mountain. Just dragging, dragging that highlight color there. Get a little more. Mm -hmm. Is it weird to combine Silence of the Lambs with a kid's game? Um, yeah, but <laughs> that, that could be, um, that could be interesting. I'm interested. Get some of the small part of the knife here. Get the little knees back here. Da -da -da -da. Okay, maybe it'll be a more, just a little lighter. And then let's highlight, let's highlight some of those arms. I'll just use, yeah, maybe like liquid white. Now well, I got a little bit of that highlight color over here. A little of that, maybe a little liquid white. Yeah, let's see how that, <laughs> trying to find somewhere to brace my arm. there. Da, 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 da. Okay, that's good there. And let's do Oh, shuckle! <laughs> it's put the lotion on the skin or the hippo will remain hungry. <laughs> Do take you into oh no. Kids collecting fava beans. Oh no. Oh dear. The silence of lambs in theaters, which means, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know I didn't see it when it first came out because it, it, it came out like, what, 90. 
gosh, 91, 92, 93, somewhere, somewhere in that range. So I, I saw it a little later. <laughs> Henry Spy, GG, you caught Shuckle the Mold Pokemon. I'm gonna grab a little of that. Van Dyke Brown. And then we'll throw some here. Spanish moss. That's one of my favorite things to paint. I like Spanish moss. It looks so cool. It's basically just a waterfall. <laughs> 1991. Yeah, wow. Yeah. Lots of Spanish moss. I'm kind of like going back and forth whether I want. I kind of want more trees because then I can put more Spanish moss in. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. Hmm, decisions, decisions. But then if I do, then I'll cover up those little little trees there, so. I don't know, I don't know. Let's put in some more cypress knees and, and see what happens. But for that, I'm gonna put a little water line in. Hmm, excuse me. Let's grab my little, little knife for that. I think what other kids' games could we make out of <laughs> Silence of the Lambs? Guess who? <laughs> Let's grab a little of this liquid white. Oh, mix it up with this greenish, greenish color here. There we go. Back to this one. Just putting a little little water line here. Little projections back here too. Why not? Just a little bit. Yeah. Just a little. Oh yeah. Neat. <laughs> oh, <don't. laughs> Swamp creature, oh dear. <laughs> oh jeez. <laughs> it's like... It's like a mix of like Creature of the Black Lagoon, but it has like wings. <laughs> I 
You see a little balls of burning green gas fire. I do. Wonderful. <laughs> How lovely. We won't see much of it because we're we still got to put some land in here. But we'll put a little bit. That's good. And I'll pull those reflections as well. <laughs> Favorite swamp boy options. Man thing. <laughs> Creature from the Black Lagoon. Swamp thing. The heap. Oh gee. Guillermo del Toro's. Amphibian God. Well, <laughs> the Axolotl. Oh man. I have to go with Creature of the Black from the Black Lagoon. That's that's yeah. That's a classic. Dragon Ball Drowsy. Okay. Why couldn't the child get into the pirate movie? Because it was rated R. It's <laughs> gonna pull those reflections down. And across. There we go. Make them watery. Make them watery. And let's do, let's throw some more land in there. I'm just going to go with straight Van Dyke Brown here. I don't think I'm going to use any more of that black. That's okay. Yeah, it's okay. So I'm just going to put a sparse bit of land here. Something to rest on. Yeah. yeah, maybe a little, a little more this way. But if I put any more cypress knees, ooh. All right, let's put some, yeah, let's put some back here. Let's put a couple, just kind of popping up here. So it's not cypress knees, it basically looks like a, like a broken tree, so. <laughs> so you're sure. Broken tree. But yeah, that'd be cool. Cypress knee lanterns. Oh, it's kind of reflect. It's kind of gonna match. 
catch him into the water there. Yeah, maybe a couple bigger ones over here. Creature from the Black Lagoon was played by an Olympian. Yep. He had some impressive swims and then tremendously difficult to work with suit, yeah. New technology was made to shoot underwater scenes. Yeah, I, I think some of that was filmed in a um, in a in a park that's kind of mm, little little ways away from us. I think it was maybe been filmed in a couple different ones, but because the water is so clear and everything, they they film there. <laughs> Yay, Chewy. There we go. Let's throw, yeah, let's throw a couple bigger ones over here. Maybe just a couple little, just little blobs here and there. Maybe one just starting off. There. <laughs> a baby one. Just a baby one. Yeah, that's good. Okay, let's highlight those. And then we got to highlight the Spanish moss as well. I'll go ahead and clean this out with a paint thinner. Let's go into that. That blue and gray color we have, the Prussian blue and the Prussian blue and Van Dyke brown makes a cool gray. Put a little bit of. I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thanks for the follow. I'm just gonna. I'm not sure if it's light enough. Let's test it. I'll test it up here. Oh no, it's good. It's good. I'm just using just the, the end of my fan brush there. Ooh, that's perfect. Yeah, that's that's the color I want. That is the color. It's got the liquid white in there to make it a little, little thinner so it'll kind of float up here. Nice. That's 
cool color. Oh, oh what we got? A wild illusion. I'm just gonna wipe that fan brush off. I kinda want, I know, I wanna <laughs> do more Spanish walls. I kinda want some coming from this end, but. Make a treat. Oh, oh, that was fast. <laughs> Jeez, <laughs> GG truck door. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that was fast. Uh, let's go back to you. since these are these are smaller. I'm just going to use just a little part of my knife there and grab some of that highlight color. I'm just gonna. Kind of smooth that on. Do, 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 do. Just let the canvas take off what it wants. Easy peasy. Barely, barely touching this. It's grazing. I'll graze a little on the reflection too. Hey, Gracie, how's it going? <laughs> and was that a hat trick, really? Wow. GG on the hat trick. It's a little lighter over there. Mm, excuse me. Excuse me again. <laughs> little baby one here. This one's a little bigger. You can go this way with the knife. It's easier fun. Now I want to do more swamp scenes. <laughs> some of the big decisions. Before I do that, let's make these reflections watery. So let's go back in with, uh, yeah, well. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I'm gonna use this two inch brush for anything else, maybe just highlighting this over here, but. Speaking of which, I'm just gonna go back in here and smooth that part out. There, there it goes. Now see, if Bob was painting this, you know he would put a giant tree right in the middle. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ruler says no. 
<laughs> we won't. We won't put a giant tree in the middle. <laughs> Let's just pull these down for reflections here. Just very softly. And then across, two hairs and some air. There we go. Need just a little, little bit of a water line on those. Uh, back to my little knife here. I got my. It's on the water line I'm doing with like liquid white, but it's kind of it's flavored a little bit with that green. So <laughs> let's go in with a little part of the knife. Da, 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 da. There we go. Pond scum green. <laughs> Also tell us about the big old gator that was there. Yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> Bob was a Florida man. <laughs> Let's throw some more scum in there. I like the pond scum. sorts of stuff living in here. did anything that would warrant his being mentioned in Florida Man. <laughs> Lightning losing one nothing to Colorado. Huh? It's still in the first period. Yeah, we can watch the rest of it. Yeah, if we can find it. See if if Lightning win then then yay. And then if if Colorado wins then then Blackwood recordings and Mrs. Busy will be happy. So. <laughs> so win win. Off this little platform while we while we decide while we decide what else we're gonna do here.
You've already caught heat palm. Hmm. What? Oh, what highlight color do I want here? I think I just want to do uh, maybe, 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 maybe. Let me grab a little bit of that white and a little liquid white just to make it stick here. Couple, couple different colors going on here, so let's see. A little, a little more, a little more than green. area back here. Ooh, that's fun. Flip over here, make it a little stronger. Okay, that's better. I still like it dark over here and going into the end of the painting here. You hear a cake? What kind of cake? We need to know. We need to know the cake flavor. Darkness there. <laughs> and a little water line as well here. A little water line. Excuse me. Oof. Water lines down here, Little pond scum. Okay. <laughs> wait. Nice. All right. <laughs> oh, 
decisions, decisions. It's like, part of me wants another tree so that I have more. More Spanish moss to do, but gosh. Oh, cute bone! Yay! <laughs> Let's take a step back and take take an assessment here. Let's take an assessment. Oh. <laughs> I know. here. Oh, man. Or what if... What if I turn that cypress knee into a big tree? He'd basically be covering this tree up, though. That's the problem. Ugh, hard decisions. Hard decisions. <laughs> no! Gold duck. Let's throw another one up while I decide here. Cypress knee. I don't want to put a big old tree in the middle. I don't want to do a bob. <laughs> I don't want to pull a bob. <laughs> what if I put one a tree coming from the bottom? Gosh, gosh darn, gosh darn. I don't know, I don't know. I know, yeah, clumpy, a clumpy. I can't decide. <laughs> I can't decide. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. But if I just did, if I just did branches and no tree though, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> That's true too. That's true too. Oh. How about, okay, I've decided. All I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna bring this tree out a little more and then we're just gonna highlight the Spanish moss on that, on that tree. I think that's what we're gonna do. He did, there was, um, oh gosh, where is it? I, I did one of them. I always mix up the names because there's like, Marshland, that, that one's marshland, and then that one's Cypress Creek, and then there's there's a wetlands one, and then there's 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 one with an egret. Yep, yep. <laughs> you can come down and back. <laughs> what what cake though? What kind of cake? This is important info. <laughs> you know, I, I was just like standing here trying to think of what would you do, but I I I, I have a I have made a decision. So I'm just gonna, just gonna highlight this tree a little more. You 
little more white. Just a little bit. Yeah. And then I'm going to keep the darkness as that. I'm just going to go over it with that Spanish moss color. Oh, there he is. There it is. Devil's food, there you go. Eat the devil's food. <laughs> Burmese python, yeah, it could be in Florida there. That's that's true. <laughs> Pythons. <laughs> it's time. It's time for Ernest Saves Christmas. It is, it's time for that. <laughs> Let's do pythons. Oh, oh well. Yeah. <laughs> that kind of thing. <laughs> 24 inch pythons, brother. Brother. <laughs> no. <Arr>. See? What? <laughs> See, there you there, go. Yep, yep. <laughs> there they are. <laughs> <laughs> no, how are yours? Aw. Boo. I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. <laughs> Thanks for the follow. <laughs> Spanish moss. Yeah, there we go. Just a little, just a little bit there. <laughs> what, what kind of printer does Hulk Hogan use? Brother! Exactly. <laughs> what, what, kind, what kind of sewing machine does Hulk Hogan use? Brother! <laughs> See, it works. Works in two ways. Brother! He's got, he's got to give me time to read. Sometimes chat, sometimes chat's fast. I think we put everybody to sleep though, so. <laughs> which is a good thing, which is a good thing. Everybody, everybody can relax. I just want a little more water line over here. Yeah, 
that's better. Just a little more over there. Okay. Okay, let's see, let's see. I think we've got a neat little scene here. Yeah. <laughs> no! That's all right. All right. So with that, I think... I think we're gonna we're gonna call this one finished. <laughs> Without Bob's big old tree, we don't need that. We don't need that. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Thanks to the GG Charter. Can't catch anything tonight but a donut. Don't don't <laughs> a donut. <laughs> thank you, thank you again, Charter, for the redemption. So yeah, that was that was fun because, like I said, I was. Pfft, Pretty much making it up as I go, so that's good. <laughs> that's always fun. <laughs> Thanks to the GG Mad Dog, Jennifer Hollywood. Jennifer Hollywood, I have a, I had a question for you. If you've got your sound on. <laughs> Trinket, thank you for the GGs. Ruler, thanks for the GGs. I. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes those are those are the most fun ones. <laughs> Turn my little time lapsey things off. Oh yeah, it looks cool in the time lapse and everything. I really like the foreground. That's 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 fun. I, I just I love that color combination, like the green and orange. Oh, I have it written down in my notes. <laughs> I know I have notes where I write people's birthdays down. I have it written down as December twelfth. Is that correct? Going through my notes. <laughs> I know. Ugh. Oh, thanks for the GGs, Lauren talks to you. It is. Okay, so I, th I think somebody else, I believe uh, I believe Ruler also has a birthday on the 12th. <laughs> so I just, I just wanted to make sure that I wasn't confusing that. So I'm like, huh. Oh, the eighth. I wrote it down wrong. I did write it down wrong. Okay. Okay. Let me fix that. Eight. Eight and twelve. Okay. 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 Now we're good. <laughs> now we're good. <laughs> I fixed that. Okay. Burp. All right. So, on that note, let's find someone to raid. Yeah, we got a couple, couple December birthdays. Birthdays. Mm -mm -mm -mm. <laughs> yeah, things were hanging out earlier. Thanks, yeah, thanks everyone for for hanging out and chilling with us. And I think, do I have something written down for to this Thursday? Um, what is this Thursday? Is the twenty? No, wait. I don't know. I don't know. Some kind of, some kind of winter painting. <laughs> I don't know. Some kind of winter painting on Thursday. And then, yeah, and then um, next week, we're going to be painting a dragon, finally. <laughs> so starting, starting on the 4th. Starting December 4th, we'll be painting a dragon. It might, you will know, take a couple streams. <laughs> That's why I say starting on the 4th. Ken Master's birthday is 1231. Wow. That's, that's, there's so many. And then, um, oh, <laughs> and then Captain Arbor's birthday is on the 23rd. So yeah. So to, to that we say, sploosh. Thousand Islands and <laughs> No. <laughs> I'll have to write that one down too. I'll have to write Ken's down. 1231. Wow. 
da, da, da. All right. Oh. Okay. Let's see. JSR is. He's on his uh, <laughs> Shen, Shenmue kick, so he's on Shenmue 3 now. So I might go over there. Might go over there. That's always fun. Do, 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 do. He's been going, going through all of them. Mm -hmm. On the ranch. Wait, what? What is what? Hold up. What's Blackwood Recordings doing? What is this? Is this a beekeeping simulator? What is? This? <laughs> what is it? I have no idea. I don't know, but it looks interesting. All right, let's go. <laughs> let's go read Blackwood Recordings and Mrs. Busy because <laughs> they're they're playing something and it looks interesting. I don't know if this is a beekeeper simulator or what. We got we got we got to find out. We got to find out. So we'll raid over. Um, eh, no raid message. If if you have my tail waggy mode, Mrs. Mrs. Busy likes that. Or if you have if you have Mrs. Busy dancing, <laughs> you can do the Mrs. Busy dance. <laughs> it's like star doing first person. Okay, cool. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, that sounds awesome. And then a hockey game. Yeah, we can. Yeah. We'll probably go straight to bed. But <laughs> I got to clean up, wash my face, and then we'll go to bed. But, but let's, let's go ahead and head on over to them and see what they are up to. Exactly. There you go. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> All right. Yeah, there you go. All right, thanks everybody for, for hanging out, and uh, maybe I'll see you Thursday for a nice, nice chilly winter winter painting. If not, dragon next week. <laughs> All right, thanks everybody. Be safe, and I'll see you around the Twitchiverse. Bye.